Alright, so I'm also recording this as well. Hopefully that'll mean for better video quality when it comes to YouTube. But, hello everyone. Today we are going to be playing some good old Minecraft again. I'm gonna send out notifications. But anyways... Let's hop into what we're going to do today. Sorry if I don't sound as chipper as normal. My throat has a little bit of an issue. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to play games. So I think today's goal is going to be expanding. Uh, what are we going to expand? What are we going to expand? I think we should expand the taiga biome a little bit more. But first, I need cobble. <clears throat> and then of course we have a furret because we can never not have a furret. It does want to fight me though. In which case, bye for it. Nice knowing you. Oh, he lived. Is this my... There we go. That should take up the for it. And hopefully not me with it, because I think I'm about to drown. Yep. Alright. But I've been working on my mod recently for more of these tickets. And more boxes and things. <clears throat> but... For the time being, the only ones that actually work are the Poke... The Poke Box and the Tuned Poke Box. Alright, let me just take the leather from here. And there. And leather be used to make it again. Books. Make. Ooh, we can make the biggie bag. Gauntlets. Make an ender bag with an ender eye. I mean, we could make a knife, but I don't need a knife. But, uh. That's right, I was working on those pathways as well. I'll work on that a little bit today as well. Grab all this spruce wood. We need to expand the paths. Because the pathways are going to need to be bigger so we can actually make it teach the islands easier. Of course, I'm holding down shift so I don't fall and die. Sorry for the lag, everyone. I just saw that lag had spiked. It should be clear on the YouTube because well, I'm recording it on my end. <clears throat> so I'm just building away, making these platforms bigger. Because eventually I'm hoping to have a huge, like, house base. Instead of just a little hut that I have over there in the corner. Yeah, it seems it's still lagging on my end. Alright, it's getting better. Alright, looks like we're back to normal. But according to my end, we are dropping a few frames. I was looking over at OBS. <laughs> Can't be looking over at other things while I'm 
bridging across, you know, death space. Everyone for the lag. I don't know what is going on. Hmm. This is gonna be annoying. Uh, no, I haven't Eclipse. That's one of the reasons I was also working on the boss Pokebox. Because, well, we don't find any bosses out here. So why am I doing it this way? I could just do this. <laughs> Same way back. <laughs> As I again miss because I look away. I really shouldn't be looking away. But yeah, so making these pathways bigger will allow for, I guess, ease of travel. <clears throat> and again with the lag. Yeah. Is it just really laggy on you guys' end? Either way, it should be way clearer on YouTube, because I'm recording it. Yeah, the way how I would normally, uh, the way how I would normally post the stuff on YouTube is I would download it from Twitch, which is the full video of the stream. But now that I'm recording it on my, why is there a zombie pigman? Okay. I lost my train of thought. I was talking about how I would just download it from Twitch and then upload it to YouTube. <coughs> but now I'm going to start recording them on my end so they're a lot smoother. Path is done. I'm not the only one that saw a zombie pigment over here, right? Yeah, I know that they can step out of the nether portal, but there shouldn't be enough space for any of them to spawn. There's that over there, which I do eventually want to get to. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, oh. Well, I'm out of spruce. But I need to make another... I need to make a Poké Box. And then I intend to make a Poké Ticket at some point. There's a skeleton. Also, I was thinking about making like a loot crate kind of thing to get, uh, to get some of those tickets. Do you get a drink? Sir, this is not your house. This is a Wendy's. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier to fight spiders as well. Pop. Pop. So what drops gravel? I'm assuming, you know, Geodude and Graveler. Need more cobble so I can continue to build this out. 
Because apparently I miscalculated and we need way more space downwards for Pokemon to spawn. So now... I'm gonna put that there. Basically now I'm just trying to shift all this cobble downwards. Why am I using a hatchet? I have no clue. Because I looked it up the other day, and it needs to be five blocks downwards for Pokemon to be able to spawn. Which I have now made. Just trying to shift all this. I would stop messing it up. Make it the same size as the original idea. I'm just, you know, moving everything down so that there's enough space for mons to spawn. <coughs> I will have to repair my pickaxe here soon, though. is going to be quite a, the annoyance because I need gravel for this pickaxe. And I made it here to the end of the cave. Woohoo! So this is going to be the edge of the cave this way. I'm going to try to get out this way. <coughs> Basically, this is just going to take a little while. Go ahead and build up this area. And then, considering that we never actually finished it, we're still going to need more cobble to actually finish the area. Um, don't give up on me, pickaxe. Any chance to let it like wait and regen because I used wood in the recipe. <laughs> hmm, I could. Um, no, Otter, don't want you to fight it. Come on, Otter, out of here. And. Twenty-five, and you are level thirteen. All right. <laughs> Do I have any gravel? Yes, I do. Should be enough for at least a little while. All right, back to the upgrades. But yeah, down here is going to be our little cave area where we can have uh, like geodudes, gravelers, and all that spawn. Which will be a great way to get stone faster. Because we all know that watching someone just sit there and mine can be kind of boring. Alrighty. Go ahead and keep 
placing. Hmm. Oh shit. Uh, thank you for letting me know. I completely forgot. There you go. Sorry. In the rush to get back here, I was running a little bit late. <laughs> I completely forgot to change that. Thank you for pointing that out. But yeah, once I get this, this, but like, once I get this cave done, we can start getting gravelers and sableyes and all that. And if I can start getting gravelers, geodudes, and all that, then I can actually start getting ore, and I can start getting stone faster, and otter can level up in the process. I'm sorry if it is laggy at all, anyone. I have no clue what's up with the internet. It says on my end that I'm like constantly dropping frames. Nice down here, though. Probably gonna have to put out the lights, though, just that way we don't get just some random monsters spawning. Yeah? Well, it's great to hear Eclipse. Yeah, today's just kind of working on expanding things. <clears throat> but isn't every day just working on expanding things in Skyblocks? The islands, the buildings, all that. The farms. Speaking of which, is there any way to get water? Like, more water than this. I know that if I make a forge, I can do it. But to do that, I need clay. And sand and gravel. Gravel apparently drops from zombies in this world. I think it's because of a... Uh, whatchamacallit? One of the resource packs on this server. No, it's okay. On this world. Then I just need a good source of sand, which I do have, because, if I'm not mistaken, Trap Inch drops sand. Once I get a forge, then I can start uh, throwing snow into the forge to get water. Which would be very handy in starting up farms. Only issue is, I need lava for said forge. And from what I know, there is no Pokemon to drop lava. Actually, does does Slugma drop magma? Or does it just spawn in lava? Something very nicely. Another thing like gravel here. 
they get stuck in the door. Great to see everyone here, though. But yeah, once I get the cave all set up, and we start getting different Pokemon spawning down there, I should be able to start working on a forge, because lava... There is a lava generator block, but you need lava and a bunch of ores to make it. I'm going to go and look at the wiki really quickly. Lava bucket. Alright, so there is two Pokemon to drop it. Big issue is the fact that they are Heatran and Reshiram. Oh wait, if I get a camera up, wait a minute, that means that if I get a Numal, which spawns in the jungle, oh, no, not jungle, jeez, in the desert, then I can get a source of lava. I think that's the plan. That doesn't look like a plan there. That one looks like a better plan. But, uh, if I can catch a Numal, evolve it into camera up, and then get a empty bucket, I can get an infinite source of lava. Apparently I can get gravel from these zombies here. Alrighty, thank you. iron pokeball base but I can't make anything with it cuz well, I don't have one of the anvils to hammer down the base hammer down the apricorns into the base this all right. come on chest close yeah things can all can definitely be weird with Minecraft sometimes. We're hopefully going to get this done today. We'll start moving this out this way as well. So how was everyone's day today? I hope it's doing good. So, but I'll see what I can do. Was that a good or a bad thing, Garpster? Sometimes crazy can be fun. We've seen that from my multiple times playing Terraria.
Fair. Yeah, hey, once this cave's done, we've got resources. And... Should be done fairly quickly here soon. Looking pretty good, as far as caves go. Alright. So now we're at the point where I can just build out. is going to be really nice. Build that to there. So this is the right block? Yes, alright. Which means that from there we're going to go this way. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Now the cave is coming together nicely. Yeah, if I can find a Numo and actually catch it and have it on my team here, it should be very handy. Because then, once I evolve it, I can use it as a lava source. Is there any Pokemon that I can use as a water source, actually? No. Water. Okay. So, it does not seem like there's a Pokemon that I can use as an infinite water source. <clears throat> Alrighty. Just need some stone, then I can continue the build. I have no clue how I'm standing right here, but I'm not going to question it. There we go. We are moving. There's a month on my list here. There's actually a... What is this Lulipop? Oh, it's right there, okay. I was so confused. Might as well try to take out this Meowth. It drops gold. Keep going ahead. Don't know what I clicked there, but it works. Alright. Got gold. I definitely need more iron. Because once I get... Uh, I think it was 5 iron. No. 
We need eight iron to make an anvil. And then I need to make a hammer. So I can start making Pokeballs. But once I get all that done, I can head to the desert and spend some time waiting for a Numel. Because once I get a Numel, all I gotta do is train it. How to train your Numel, you know? now. I should probably chop down these trees, they're all grown. I don't know why it's taking so long for things to update. Is that a single sapling? That's rude. <coughs> I'm gonna check the wiki to see, like, what time of day Numel spawns, so I can go and grab it. Basically, today's going to be building out that cave and then probably some work off camera getting some Pokeballs. I'm just working on my mod to allow me to get Pokeballs, you know? Just need this one. Come on. Some zombies have shown up. Could mean that I can go and get some gravel to repair some things. And bonk. 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 Right. No gravel there. There's a zombie over there still. So. Go ahead and take it out. Oh, that, that one's got an iron sword. That one I'm slightly more afraid of. Alrighty, buddy. Chop it? No. Okay. There's a driftling somewhere. <clears throat> yep, it's up there. Yeah, not much is happening today, just the building of the cave. Yeah, more zombies. Oh, that one's got a small army over there. 
Maybe I should light up some of these paths. Then again, it is my main source of monsters, so... Yeah. Ow, how did I do that? I'm gonna take a drink. Alrighty. I wanna try... Where's that zombie? Oh, the zombie's just gone. Okay. There's an enemy back there. Oh, that's a baby zombie. A baby armored zombie. That is not fun. Can I get in here? Should've seen that one coming. Ow! Whoa, this guy hits hard! Die! Out of here! Ow! Oh, bye! Leave! Leave this place and never return! What the heck is this guy's weapon? Oh, don't. Ow! Damn! Why? Baby zombie with armor and friggin' god weapons! Why? Alright, this... This little guy, you... Die. Yes! Oh, and it dropped some of his armor! Woohoo! That guy was wearing Tartarathite? Oh my god! That's the best alloy in the game. That baby zombie was wild. <laughs> and nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Ender pearls. Something that was definitely needed. I'm not sure if actually they've got 200 durability. I should use them. Another metal to absorb its effects and what? What in the heck? Okay. I am royally confused on that one, but I guess it's another piece of armor. For shelter, that guy's looking for shelter, but there is none to be found. Aha. Uh -huh. Bunk. Oh, okay. Here's another Enderman that I can take out. Uh, Alright. Alley oop. Ow. Yep. Ow. I really gotta stop being dumb with these. I have higher HP. Hold up. Oh, this gives me max health. Okay. Hmm. Fortunate that that baby zombie was wearing god stuff. I still don't get why that baby zombie spawned in with full Tartarusite gear. This is kind of weird. But, either way, it's dead now. And I'm the one with the armor. I continue to build around this. Actually, that's. That's fine, it's gonna be part of the wall anyways.
wonder if this is a big enough space. Or why my BGM has stopped. Alright. I'm going to plant this. So what can Ender Pearls be used to make anyways? And then just the eyes of Ender and all that. I'll try the chunk loaders. Ender buckets. We have this is Phantom Connector. And a block of Ender Pearl. Oh, and then I can make a tiny structure as well. <clears throat> I need some more gravel for my pick. I uh, can be repaired, but it's so far into the game that I don't think I'd be able to repair it right now. Before it breaks, though, I'll probably take it off and have it, like, so I win. When at the end of the game, I can repair it, you know? Because to repair it, you need Tartarosite, which is an alloy of... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's adamantine and alderus. Let me. <clears throat> yeah, alterus. Which are both tier six ores. Which is the top tier of uh, metallurgy. stone to at least make the rim because I really hope Pokemon start spawning down there work really hard on that but yeah the fact that the baby zombie was fully kitted out with end game stuff and the fact that it two shot me was just absurdity and then again because it's a baby zombie it's just fast as heck so I, I stood no chance against that thing. <clears throat> the only reason I was able to beat it is because keep inventory was on. I'm not sure everyone's feelings on keep inventory, but I like to use it because I dislike too much backwards progress. But, either way. At least the zombie child with n nether, like, not nether, it was tartarocyte, yeah. The tether tartarocyte gear, jeez. My brain needs to catch up with me for a second there. Alright, a lot of, a lot of centrips. This doesn't look like a cave. I guess once I make it dark, it should be able to... Should be able to spawn, right? This place doesn't look pretty sweet. Pull out of it. No, that's not for it, that's not true.
<sighs> Sorry if today's stream isn't all too fun. Allergies are catching up with me, you know. But basically today is just working on the cave and then gonna go on ahead and sign off. Of course, it should be smoother on YouTube. Hopefully it is. If not, well, sorry. But of course, the video shall be posted to YouTube after this. Because it, it still says that I'm in the red, as far as upload speeds go. It's constantly flicking between, you're good to go, and, oh, sorry, you have no upload speed. Which is, uh, not fun. Especially if you're streaming. And then, uh, once Antlion evolves, I'm actually going to give it a special texture that my friend made. Just so it stays here in the series and it's something cool that he made. And so, uh, once it evolves, I'll go in and NBT edit it in. to get the stack of actually, I got the stack of stone and that's a big tree. But the tree's eating my house. That's annoying. It's also kind of funny though. Then I'm gonna fill out these walls here. This does to lo look a lot like a cave now. But just for now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this. Put it there. Hopefully, soon things spawn. No, and I think with everything considered, I'll go in and then the stream early. I've already been streaming for 50 minutes or so. But, uh, hope you all enjoyed. This will, of course, go on YouTube as per usual. And I hope to see you all here tomorrow. Hmm? But yeah, I was gonna put up more walls, it's just, hopefully things start spawning in there before then, because there's gonna be a lot of stone to build up all those walls. But yeah. Basically, I'm gonna end the stream here, upload it to YouTube, of course, and come back tomorrow when hopefully I'm not as allergy destroyed. But, hope you all enjoyed and hope you all enjoyed me getting absolutely destroyed by a baby zombie and some endermans. But, talk to you tomorrow. Uh, no, it doesn't need a normal stone wall. It, it can be worked with cobble. I was reading the wiki about it earlier. But, uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.